Hey guys, hope you're doing good. In this video, you're going to learn about Decorator. Now what is Decorator? Let me explain you what is Decorator. Decorator is a design pattern in Python that allows the user to add a new functionality to an already existing code without modifying it. And that is what I'm going to explain you with some example. Let us straight away dive into examples. Let me say I have a method called a string. I'll say str1 comma str2. And then I'll say written. Let me written a formatted string. I'll say hello str1 and str2. Now to call this function, I'll say prints because it is returning something. I have to give it within the print statement. Uh, let me pass two arguments. One is Samuel, another one is Edison. Now when I run this code, you'll be just getting hello Samuel and Edison. Now if at all you have watched my video on closure, you'd be knowing like I've given the same example because to know about decorators, it is must that you need to know what is closure. Uh, like if at all you have not watched that video, I've given the link in the description. Please go and watch it. Right. Let me continue. Anyway, I'll be discussing a little bit of closure and decorator and be uh, comparing comparison. I'll be giving a comparison between closure and decorator to you in a short while. Right. Now, when I run this code, as we have seen, like you're getting hello, Samuel and Edison. Now, uh, a task is given to you that uh, this entire statement need to get converted to caps. But I should not touch the entire program, which is given here. Right. Without touching it, I have to do it. So what should I do? So let me create a new file and do something there to modify this code from there, right? So let me say caps. Now I have this code here. Now I want to change this code without touching it with the help of a new method. So let me define a method called as out of fun and let it let, let this take a function as an argument. It's going to take a function as an argument uh, and let me say def caps and since I'm not sure about how many arguments that I'm going to take let me say star arcs so that it can take n number of arguments oops I made a mistake now this is not a keyword uh, so it's just a naming convention so I'm uh, comfortable using n arg or star arg so whichever way you are you want you can use it right so let me say written don't worry I'll explain you what I'm doing here let me complete the code for you dot upper and say written caps let me say fun because the function name and the module name or the file name are same so you may get confused so let me give cap caps fun right that's it now I'll tell you what what I'm going to do from here right so this is not required for me uh, let me comment this out for some time and um, from here let me say let me say caps str assign and from here I'm going to call the method outer fun and I'm not going to pass the argument rather I'm going to pass the function name itself I'm going to pass the function string right so if I'm going to pass the function string from your outer fun and I say string uh, this outer fun method will be called and the string the function what is given here right string function this will be passed to f u n this becomes a function object right now I'm defining a function called as cap fun inside this outer fun uh, I'm not calling it as of now I'm just defining it and doing some process inside we'll, we'll see what is that right and <clears throat> after this I'm returning the cap fun from here so when I say return cap fun the for cap fun will be returned here that will be stored in caps str function object now that caps str becomes a function object so it helps me to call the method cap fun from here right so now from here i'm going to pass two values that is samuel and edison from here right so i'm calling cap str in turn it calls cap fun which is there in the module caps and samuel and edison will be uh, passed to star arcs right more than one argument is passed it will be handled by this and here I'm saying written, just forget about this written and forget about this upper. Let me take this alone. So what is this? This is what will first happen. So when I say fun of star arcs, 
So this, what is this fun is storing already? Here, fun is already storing string, correct? Let me put it here for you. So fun is already storing the method name string. So when I say fun of star arcs, in turn, it is calling the string method, right? From here, it calls a string and then star arcs. So what is there in star arcs? Two arguments, that is Samuel and Edison, it will be passed respectively to str1 and str2, right? So I'm, I'm talking, I'm again, I'm repeating, I'm talking only about this process, right? Fun star arcs. It comes here, does the work and say it written, hello, it will be returning hello Samuel and Edison. So this place will be replaced by this fun star arcs will be replaced by hello Samuel and Edison. So when I say hello Samuel and Edison, that's a string. And when I say dot upper, this dot upper method will convert the entire string to caps. Now here, what comes is like, I'll just explain you. It will be like, I'll be having hello Samuel and Edison, right? It will be dot up. Now when I say dot upper, that entire string will be converted in this format. It will be hello Samuel and Edison. So after converting what I'm doing, so this place will be entirely replaced with hello Samuel and Edison in caps and say written. So when you say written where the function call happens, this place. So when this, uh, this statement hello Samuel and Edison in caps will come and sit in this place. So let me use a print func uh, let me use the print function to print it. And one more thing I forgot, I forgot to include the module, right? So I may need to include the module. Let me say from caps import out of fun because that is what I'm using here. If at all you, you're not sure about what is uh, um, um, importing a uh, module and how to import module, I've uh, already done a video on importing module. I've given the link in the description. Please go and watch it. That will help. That will be helpful for you, right? So let me run this code for you. Before that, let me save all the files. Okay, I've saved it. Let me run this code for you. So when I run this code, you're getting hello Samuel and Edison. This is a normal closure, right? This is a normal closure. But if I want a decorator, right? So when I say decorator, these two lines are not required for me. Right? So when I say this, I can do this with, with the help of this, right? But when I do this, let me run this code for you. When I do this, again, I'm getting only Samuel and Edison. But how will I call this function, access this function? But here I'm just, just saying accessing the function, passing string, everything. But with the help of decorator, all these two lines can be replaced with just one decorator. I'll say at out of fun. Right. So this at symbol helps me in creating a decorator. So when I say at outer fun, this one single line will do the work of this line. Right? Will do the work of these two lines. Now let me run this code again for you. So you're getting in caps. I'll tell you what will happen. So when I say string of Samuel and Edison, right? Uh, this function will get called, right? So when I come here before calling the function, this decorator will get hit. So when this decorator will, is getting hit, what will happen? It will pass Samuel as an argument to fun, and then Sam, oh, sorry, string uh, the function which will be passed to uh, fun, and Samuel and Edison will be passed to star arcs. It will do this entire work and return back to the function call where it happens. Got it? So these two lines, whatever these two lines are doing, right? These two lines we have explained, we have uh, uh, discussed later before, just before. Uh, what whatever these two lines are doing, it is replaced with the help of just a decorator. Now, what you may wonder, like, why do I go for decorator? If I don't want any uh, modification to happen to my code, right? Uh, from here to here, this was the previous code. At the beginning, this was the code, right? So if I don't want anything to happen to my code. I can better go for a decorator, right? I can avoid these two lines, bigger work, right? I just put a decorator there that solves your purpose, right? So let me give you one more example to make you uh, uh, feel better. Let me take this out. Let me say a def. Now I'm going to write a code to one minute. Let me take the same thing. It's not required for me. Let me say string 
and I'm going to pass a single string. Wait, I'm not going to pass more uh, more than one string. I'm just just passing a single string. Now, what is it I'm going to do, right? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass this string, and I'm going to split these two strings, that is Samuel Edison as Samuel and Edison into a list. Now, how do I do it? So, let me say uh, written. And then say my str. Let me comment this for some time. It's not required for me now. When I run this code, my data just storing Samuel, right? But I want my data to be split and stored inside a list. As I said already, like I'm passing a, a lengthy string, right? And I want the data to be split correct so if i want my data to be split and without touching the code again right again the problem is that i should not touch the code so without touching the code if i want to do some process what should i do right so let me write a, a new uh, code for you right right let me say let me say split str.py again i should not touch this so i am just writing a new code let me say def I'll say out of fun. Again, it's going to take the function as argument and let me say split fun and then say arg. And if I'm not sure like how many arguments are there, I can just go for star arcs. All right. And then say written fun of star arcs dot split. And then from here, I'll say written split if you win. Right. Now, let me comment this out for some time. Right. And then here I'm going to uh, use first, let me explain you with closure and then we'll go for decorator. Right. So, well, let me say, let me say splitting and then say, let me call the outer font. And then from here, what I need to pass is the met function name that is string. And then here I say print splitting, and then I need to pass the string. Right. So let me pass the string from here. So that will be passed. Now let me explain what's happening from here. Now when I call this method splitting, actually it is calling the split fun right because uh, when i call the outer fun and then pass string string will be passed to fun right and fun will be remembering string right let me put fun that's going to remember string the function string right and then it comes here it's defining a function within the outer fun and from here i am returning that function so split split fun will be return back to splitting and then here as i said already splitting will be storing what splitting will be storing the method split fun so the splitting stores the uh, method split fun when i come here when i call the method splitting it internally calls split fun and i am passing samuel edison that will be stored in star arcs so when i say fun what it does it goes here right because fun is string it goes here and passing the argument which i'm passed that is samuel edison will be passed here and say written now what will happen it will be returning samuel edison and i say split so when a split function or split uh, method is called on a string it will split the values based on space by default and then will store that inside a list so it will split the words by uh, on uh, uh, on space and then it stores the value on a list so when i uh, say right return it returns the list of values and then comes here and prints it right so let me run this code for you before that let me save it and then run the code for you oops out of one i okay i forgot to import let me say split underscore str and then 
yeah i've imported now there's no there will not be any problem as of now right yeah so the string what is given samuel and edison it got split and stored as a list now if we want to do the same process with the help of decorator it's very simple just comment this out and comment it and then one simple thing that i need to do is put a add and what's the function name used here is outer fun right and when i do this let me run the code for you and you're getting the data split it got it let me run it again for you I'm done with this uh, video guys. If at all you have any doubts or queries, uh, please uh, comment in the comment section. I'll definitely get back to you. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.